Hello Aries, let's jump into this great reading that I see in front of me. So let's look at the overall energy that came out at the bottom of the deck during the shuffle was the Ace of Coins, which is when paired with the Three of Cups, the engagement set. That's the ring, that's the party, that's the bridesmaids. This is a significant offer. So the tangible offer is the ring and the bridesmaids are the party. And then to reinforce that, we have the Ten of Cups happily ever after as your overall energy for this reading. So that is a powerhouse looking at the energy that we see in front of us for the reading. So we're going to look at this. What we see for the two of you in the recent past is that you want to build something of value, the Knight of Pentacles energy. So we have Virgo energy. A willingness to do the work day to day, day in, day out. It appears that you may live with each other for some of you, but it looks like you've been in a relationship for quite some time because this energy is not brand new energy. This is energy of a relationship that's been around for at least a year, probably. But it'll, you know, it'll resonate differently with different people. But the Knight of Pentacles is all about day to day, Monday through Sunday, doing the work of relationship being calm, cool, and collected, you know, just doing what needs to be done and being very, very responsible to each other. So it's beautiful energy. It's very important to have that kind of energy for long-term commitment. When we get the Page of Cups, it does look like the two of you are having sort of a new beginning in love. The two of you need to become a little bit more grounded. You know, we see the pages, feet are in the air. We always get when pigs fly. So it really speaks to the fact that it's not, there's either children in this situation that are, you know, creating some stress or decisions about children. But we also see that it can simply be two people, which is your energy together, coming together, and that you have to get the relationship grounded. The love is there, but maybe not as practical as it needs to be, but you're working on that. When we look at the Three of Swords, we do see heartbreak. And this is a card that represents how your person sees the situation. So they feel as though they've been, they've been very wounded in the relationship. They feel as though there's been a, a fair amount of heartbreak. There's been difficulty. It can even indicate possibly a third party situation, um, either on your part or your person's part. So we're going to delve into that momentarily. The way they see you, they see you as incredibly strong as a person who tends to be the leader in the relationship. They see you as beautiful, you know, definitely the infinity symbol. They feel as though you're in it to win it. They, you know, they see you as really sexy, as beautiful. Again, they just view you, Aries, as a person who always can succeed. Now, in their heart space, they feel a real sense of pride, of belonging, that, wow, I got Aries, look at me, look at me. I landed my Aries. Aries is beautiful. And it, but it's, it's kind of egocentric energy. It's sort of like, Look at me, look at me, look at who I'm with. So it's not, you know, I like the passion. I really do, the Six of Wands. Um, but it is a card that says that they want to introduce you to all their friends. They want you to know everybody. They want you to be front and center, and they want to be front and center with you. When we look at the energy of how they see the relationship moving forward, the Sun card, you have Leo, Leo, Leo energy, really a lot of Leo energy, a whole row of Leo energy. So there's a lot of pride in this relationship. I would say that sometimes it would be easy for the two of you to bump heads. But when we get the sun card, that's the happiest card in the deck. It feels like you're on vacation. Your person feels as though the way, the path forward is a f for the two of you to really spend a lot of fun time together. They feel as though... If there's not enough fun, passion, if the relationship doesn't operate at a very intense high level, they feel as though they don't know what to do about it. So they do feel as though your expectations is like constantly good times should roll. They want it. They want the same thing you do. But the sun card speaks very strongly to the fact that they see you as the, the place in which they've been the happiest in any relationship in their entire life. Why do we have the Six of Swords here? Let's see. We have the Six of Swords 
is the energy of wanting to move forward out of troubled waters. So it means that the two of you have not been grounded enough and you're in this struggle of trying to make the relationship more sound, you know, basically also trying to move away from friction, from things, arguments, you know, could be petty, could be small, but it could be major also. So when we look at the energy of what spirit is recommending, we see that spirit recommends that you stay very calm emotionally. The King of Cups energy is the captain of the ship at sea, uh, the person that brings home the, the sailors away from harm. And so we see this calm waters. Um, Spirit is really saying that you need to be very calm with each other. You need to be very balanced emotionally, that both of you have seen enough of life that you should be able to navigate the situation successfully. And this is about navigating away from trouble. The outcome card at this time is the Eight of Swords, self-imposed restriction, and that's your, you know, that's obviously mutual energy. So right now, it doesn't look like the two of you are tackling the thorny issues that are underlying the relationship here. It's almost like there's sort of an effort to sweep it under the rug, but I don't see that you're going to be able to do that with the Three of Swords here. So we really need to clarify. This relationship looks as though it's gone through some sort of argument, you're going through some sort of upheaval. I don't see these as, you know, as being disastrous, but what I do see is two people who struggle to be on the same page and that you just aren't always on the same page. It's like it's like it's difficult to bring the relationship together when the quite honestly, it shows that you both love each other, you want each other, you want happily ever after with each other. So let's take a look and see why we have the Nine of Pentacles, tell us why, what is Aries' um, partner and Aries working on? What are they working on? What's going on with the Nine of Pentacles? Tell us that story, please. In the recent past, working on the relationship, a new beginning. So the two of you made some sort of an agreement that you'd have a new beginning in this relationship, that you would both do the best you could financially, try to earn a lot of money, you know, bring a lot of good fortune into the relationship that both of you are going to work hard towards your goals. It looks as though the goals that you have financially are ones that will make the relationship happier, better, stronger. We also get the, the Queen of Coins card. So both of you want to nurture each other, but one thing that I'm seeing here is that you don't always listen to each other. It's like you want the same things, but it looks as though you view how to get them a little bit differently. Not too much, though. Nine of coins to the queen of coins means that the two of you could really earn a lot of money together, and it looks as though that would give you the life that you want. Right now, I see concern and worry, a little bit of sleepless nights going on, which is normal in the, the world we live in today, I think, can bring about that energy quite easily. What do you have? Why do we have the page of, pen, the page of cups? Why do we have the Page of Cups is the current energy in this relationship. Three of Cups. So the two of you really have fun together. When you are playing together, it seems as though everything goes well. But it doesn't look like the relationship is grounded. One person feels as though they give more to the relationship than the other person. But what we... Oh, nice energy. Ten of Coins. It looks like there's going to be, both of you are going to upgrade your jobs quite a lot. The Ten of Coins is a legacy marriage. With the Ace of Coins here, we again have, again have an engagement ring. So when we look at the Three of Swords, we have the energy of heartbreak, and your person is keep it, keeping it to themselves. They're trying to get over some wounds, some heartbreaks, and they could be from the past. Tell us about this heartbreak. Eight of Coins. They, your person does not want you to know that they feel heartbroken. They're hiding it. They look like they're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to understand things. The Magician card says that they are very attracted to you, that they see the magic in your relationship. The Ten of Swords, though, says that there has been some sense of defeat that they've experienced in the relationship that has been heartbreaking to them. Tell us more about this, please. Tell us about this heartbreaking Ten of Swords in the back. Seven of Coins. Your person's invested in the relationship, but they don't think that you think that they are. 
so it speaks to the fact that they are invested. It's almost Aries like they want you to nurture them more. That's what I would see is they really want this sort of very soft, very sweet energy. And, you know, you're ruled by Mars. You have a tendency to get the job done, take care of business, to be out there in a different, you know, in a, in a very specific way in which you interact in the relationship. The Six of Cups is telling me that your person wants a another beginning with you, a new beginning. The Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia. It's a card of reunion. It's a card of being together for a long time and having great memories that you've shared together. Your person loves you very deeply, Aries, very, very deeply. That Six of Cups energy is all about on bended knee, will, will you have me? Your person feels as though the two of you have to close out a cycle of, I feel almost like your person likes to think that they're right all the time. And I'm getting that with this cycle, they feel as though that has to change. Like they want to be right, they want to feel that they're right, but they, they have an understanding that the two of you need to be more solid together. The Knight of Wands energy says that this is, I don't like the Knight of Wands energy there, to be perfectly honest. What is this about, Spirit? Because that's player energy. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Let's see what else we have. Four of Wands. So in their heart space, they're feeling that they love you very deeply. I get the Four of Wands. That's, that's marriage. You know, day to day, they want to do the work. But I think what's hidden here that you're not seeing is the fact that this person has a certain comfort level with walking away from the relationship and closing it down based on these cards. So why does this person feel like they could walk away from Aries? What is it about Aries? The Four of Swords. Okay. Swords are usually spoken words. It can be things that are, are said in haste or things that are said that maybe shouldn't be said, but your person is feeling, because we have a lot of swords here, but they're feeling brokenhearted, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, betrayed or stabbed in the back, like you, you might talk about them behind their back. The Four of Swords, like they're healing things. Why do they think that the way to forward is the Sun card? Why does your person think it's a Sun card? We have the King of Cups. So King of Cups energy speaks to the fact that your person is very much in their feels about you. They feel as though the best way to reach you or to have a really in-depth experience with you is to go out and do something fun before they have a like a long-term, like a talk with you. They would want you to be in a really good mood. That's what they feel is necessary. Tell us more about the Sun card over here, please. Justice card. So for your person to be happy, they want a lot of balance in the relationship. I feel as though they can be unbalanced sometimes. So Aries, I'm not seeing anything that says it about you. I feel as though you're the stronger one, as indicated by this strength card. Let's see what they feel. The Five of Cups, your person feels as though you've both hurt each other's feelings that both of you need to hold on to the love and move forward. The Page of Wands, throwing caution to the winds. Good for you. Really in it to win it. Let's see. The Guardian Angel is here with the Lover's Card. So your relationship is divinely protected. Why do we have self-imposed restriction as your outcome in your relationship? It looks like the two of you are not talking a lot. The Two of Wands says that you're both still in. You're in this energy of do I stay or do I go? Look at that, the strength card again. You're going to be the leader in this situation, Aries. The moon card, though, says that both of you are still feeling very uncertain. Let's see what else we have. The ace of cups, there it is. A new beginning for you in love. Ace of coins, again, that ring. But I'm seeing a relationship that's coming back from some heartbreak. A period of time when... I think that things have not gone well for you. It looks like you're making a comeback. And Aries, I'm going to send you love from Chicago, but we're going to go over to the extended reading, and I'm going to look at just your person, their thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions towards you at this time.